Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to the class number 14. But, but I'm checking that we don't have the background. Just let me see. Nope. Okay, that's it. So welcome everybody, class 14. It means six more classes and we are out. So that's nice. Um, Carito, how are you doing? Everything Hello, okay? Teacher. I would like to say that I'm the top of the world, but no, I just breathe. Just breathe. Breathe. Try to survive. Yes. Okay. No try more. to try to finish. I'm sleepy and tired, stressful. Well, a powerful mix. Well, okay. I feel really tired as well. I feel really tired. So, um, well, thank you for for your effort. How, how do you say? Y apenas es martes. Mm, and at least, at least it's Thursday. Thursday, at least, yes. I okay. know Mondays and Thursdays are like difficult days because you are starting the the week. Wednesday is like mm, okay, two more days, and yes, and we're we're going to finish. But then, um, okay. So, what about you? I feel really tired. <laughs> I feel really tired, but that's why I recommend you vitamins uh, because we are in a certain age in which we need vitamins, we need fruit, we need to sleep at least seven hours, but unfortunately we sleep like five hours, right? In a, okay, good, commercials, let's go to Pero no me está funcionando. <laughs> Okay, and, and what is that? Is uh, uh, no, complejo no, B. Is <laughs> no, eso más adelantito para las articulations. Okay. No, no forty plus complejo B inyectado ya llevo tres, me falta una, pero. Okay, commercial. No la, en la carito le están dando tiene 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 cómo se llama. Comisión. Ahí, comisión por 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 sus comerciales. Ya voy a abrir venta aquí en el grupo. <laughs> okay. That's it. Uh, well, um, in my case, uh, <clears throat> something that works for me is maybe cerebrophos. It's like um, it works for me like three, four hours. Me funciona como tres, cuatro horas. So maybe to, to wake up to or maybe after after the lunch, we are sleepy and depending mm -hmm. on, on the food. Depend. Hay comida que cae más pesada. So that's why, right? So uh, thank you for asking, Carito. But let's see uh, uh, how is the rest. Okay, Luis, hello. Good evening. Good evening, oh. teacher. How are you? Well, as I told Carito, I feel kind of tired, but with energy now, with energy for the class. Okay. And you, Hi, how are you? Uh, a little tired, but I am You're tired. Wait. Okay, yes. good. Yes, teacher. And these two hours are going to, to pass really quickly. Van a pasar do, eh, rápido estas horas, ya van a ver. Okay, so hello everybody. Let's put a kind of energy, okay? Let's do it, porque si no lo ponemos energía, nos dormimos, and then after that, you know, lo que pasa después es que vamos a andar sleepy, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a, siéntense bien. Tengan, eh, be ready with your coffee, your water, okay? Water, carito. Water. Okay. So, um, Mardo, now I see you in a different way because of the camera. Hello. Tamabicho, te, te ves younger. Me recorté el pelo, teacher. Ah, similar to Wilfredo. Wilfredo has yeah. a new a new look, right? Gabriel, teacher. No, no Wilfredo. <laughs> Wilfredo. Wilfredo. Ah, uh, Will. <laughs> Era Wilfredo Gabriel, te están diciéndome. Okay. So, well, um, it is good to change look, um, but sometimes we, uh, we as men, well, similar to the girls, when they go to the beauty salon and we go to the barbershop, sometimes we have 
some, some hairstyle that maybe we don't like. In my case, I'm not saying yours, no estoy diciendo que es su caso, but in my case, I have gone to the barber shop to have my hair cut, tener el corte de cabello, y se han paseado en mí, me han hecho un corte a veces que... And you, you can't do anything. No puedes hacer nada, solo este espacio. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo, cómo pasa la tragedia? Yes. Or the girls, they say, um, just, just, just the, the, the sharpened point, solo la puntita, pero Y les cortan un buen pedazo. ¿Verdad, Carito? Yes, I guess, Steffi, you already know. Actually, it happened, it happened to me one time. I say to the girl, uh, cut me the dry hair. And in that moment, I have to call when other, when one people to other people, when I uh, realize, realize my hair was here and I had to say, stop, cut my hair, please. Yes. Like Dora. Really. Okay. Casi te, Dora, la exploradora. Te quedaste acá, yes. I don't know why, I don't know why it happens. So this is fast. Okay. Well, my friends, um, yes, Carito, tell me. No, no teacher, no more. Okay, okay. No more tears. No more tears. Okay. Uh, good etiquette. Good etiquette at workplace. Okay. So behave good. Something like good manners. Como modales. Good behavior. Buen comportamiento. So look, look. Uh, class 14. It means... Tomorrow, you should finish uh, all, all the homeworks from Unit 3. Para mañana deben de estar terminadas las, las tareas de la Unidad 3, ¿ok? My dear friends, uh, try to do it now. Try to do it now so you, you can finish it in advance. Así la pueden terminar, pues, este, con anticipación. Right. So, um, let's see. Uh, we're going to start and I send you... I sent you the, the first speaking activity. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Pueden ser modales, pueden ser saludos, pueden ser, uh, it can be like behavior, a specific behavior that it is like almost responsibility in your workplace. It depends on the companies, right? Yes, Mardo, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay. Number one. Okay. Done. Don't sit at the table with a cup or hat. Okay, okay. Number Don't... two. Hmm? Number two. Yeah. Don't, don't yell or stuff. Don't yell. No, no se grita, verdad? Don't, don't no yell. No se grita. Okay, yes, of course. Um, But that's, that's a good rule, Mardo, because I had a boss who used to yell. Yo tenía un jefe que solía gritar, and, and, well, really weird, okay? Thank you, Mardo. If you have cleared okay. the rules in the company, it is, like, really nice because you have, like, a, a better behavior. That's it. Okay, Luis, you go. Okay, teacher. And uh, uh, fears respect the word shadow. Okay. Take on, don't drink, intoxicating, bravery. During working hours. Okay, so you can go with your beer or your tequila at your, in, in your company. That's what you said, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, yes, but it is common here in El Salvador and as in some other countries that some people go to work like with hangover, un poquito de resaca. So, yes, that, that's not a good behavior, but some people do it. Okay, so that, that's it. Thank you, Luis. Really good. Hey, teacher. Uh, what about Carito and Steffi? Okay, teacher. I was uh, really confused because there is a uh, etiquette rules, but uh, there is a uh, uh, quality rules. So I'm going to. Let me, let me, let me open the oh. file. 
just one second. <clears throat> yes, well, I really don't know the rules of etiquette. They don't put a problem about clothes. Of course, you shouldn't drink alcoholic beverages and you should, you should use an appropriate vocabulary. Mm. That's it, that's it. Uh, appropriate vocabulary, oh, definitely. When we say beverage, it's similar to drink. Beverage and we have drinks. Solo que beverage es como bebidas and drinks. También bebidas, pero beverage, a veces siento que es como un brebaje del amor. So, ah, okay. no, no, kidding. Okay, uh, so no alcoholic drinks. Please remember that. Please remember that. So that's good. That's just for Friday and Saturday. And that's it. And uh, no nasty or, as you say, appropriate vocabulary. Okay. Nasty vocabulary is, uh, as we say, malas palabras. Okay. That's nasty. Como vocabulario sucio. So um, it's like uh, when you listen to your class, uh, your, your colleagues or your boss, your supervisor, uh, pronouncing nasty vocabulary, it reflects really uh, like bad, really, or negative aspects of, of him or her. <clears throat> Definitely it is. Well, thank you, Carito. What if we listen to Gabriel and then Carlos? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, number one, avoid profanity, no matter how sad you are. Okay. Number two, do not talk on the phone in your workplace about personal matters. Okay, nice. Okay. About personal matters, okay? Uh -huh. Because we, we use uh, our cell phone at work, but for work, right? But maybe... Yeah, uh, go, uh, go, uh, go out into the heart. Uh, in the hall. Yes, yes, for, for respect. Or maybe there is an emergency, you can attend the call. Yes, you, you can ask what, what is happening, given a solution. But if you want to gossip or to talk about things like more than two, three, four minutes, it's like not appropriate, definitely. Thank you, uh, Gabriel. Uh, we go with Carlos and Oscar. Okay, teacher. Arrive before the touch team. Always we go, always we will say bet. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Oscar and Dura. Okay, uh, well, some of the rules of uh, etiquette in and my work are you carry an identification card from the working day okay. to, start, to start work at the establishment. Establish time, time to okay. keep the workplace clean among other rules that we have. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, it is important to have clean your workplace or your space. Uh, there are some people who have a mess in the desk. Tiene un desorden, a mess in over the desk. A lot of paper that maybe you don't use or food, some snacks. And, and it is not appropriate, okay? Because that reflects that you are not an ordered person. Okay, you're, you're kind of messy. Okay, Nina. Okay, uh, um, uh, Durán, Durán and Wilfredo. 
Okay, teacher. All about eating at your desk, it is bad tasty to eat in the workspace. Okay. Oh. And Three to call you purple clean and tight. Okay, nice. Uh, to be tied, yes, it's said ordenado, right? To be tied, yes. yes, definitely. But something that you said, eating in your in your desk. I remember when I worked for a foundation, the desks were well. We have cubicles or small offices. We were together. Había un poco espacio that that was like a narrow space, and you can feel, you can smell. When a person was eating like something and, and you are like, or especially when you have already brushed your teeth, cuando ya te has lavado los dientes, and you smell it like, if it feels not so good, right? And that's it. And it is okay if people eat fruits, but sometimes they eat some strange snacks like rancheritos or or, or cebollines, like, like, Oh, so we say churros and some those snacks. And in a narrow place with air conditioner, a very small yeah. place, you can feel it. So, bad food, idea. Other, food others are not placement in the um, an office. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Definitely. That, that's why. That's one of the reasons. Y a veces se queda todo el lugar con ese olor. So, yeah. yeah. Yes, definitely. It is not a good idea. Thank you, Duran. Wilfredo. Thank you. And we, then we go with Steffi. Uh, be respectful of other. Keep work space clean. Be respectful. And space, uh, clean and space. Good. Uh, Steffi and Evelyn. Do not eat in the work area. Do not use cell phone. Work area. Yes. They're not in the work era. Can you can you see we are in the in the same line? We are talking about the same things, and, and that's good because we have like nice roles. Okay, we go with Evelyn and then we go with Edwin. It, it is not allowed to enter intoxicant intoxicant drink. Yes. Yes. Uh, in another, it, it is not allowed to enter the work area. Without industrial shoe, oh. this is for this is for me, me, mechanic mechanic. That, that that that's for yes that that's for mechanic or mm -hmm. people who work for example in EPA. I have I have noticed that they use like bow the boots right and some other use helmets otros usan cascos and mm -hmm. yes it is for uh, safety right right yes. it's yes. for for safety and yeah. It, it's part it's part of, of the rules and necessary so necessary okay thank you uh this word is really useful allowed allowed es permitir so not allowed verdad aquí es no permitido pero solo la palabra allowed es permitir es un verbo regular okay eh, a veces eh, en los restaurants there are some restaurants when they, it says not eh, animals not allowed eh, no se permiten animales so that's it. Uh, thank you for uh, well saying that that word. Let's see, Edwin, and then uh, Nina. If Nina, it's okay. I don't know if the microphone of Nina is working now, but let's go first with Edwin. Okay. Uh, do not use your cell phone during working hours. Okay. Always be need uh, a thing, be polite and prompt and responding to customer. Okay, yes, uh, polite. Mm -hmm. Always uh, you should be polite. Uh -huh. And the cell phone, good. Okay, Nina, how are you doing? Uh, not working your microphone? No. Okay, no, I'm so sorry. Maybe you can try later. Sometimes we have to turn off or reset. A veces tenemos que reiniciar la computadora. All right. So maybe you can do it later. Well, my friends, um, here we have this um, action verbs. Squeeze es un verbo que quiero ver. Ah, no, vimos sneeze. 
Squeeze es apretar. For example, when you are preparing orange juice, you squeeze the orange. ¿Ok? Como que la exprimen, la, 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 ¿cómo se llama? <coughs> para extraer jugo, para extraer algo. So you squeeze. Crumple, especially paper. Crumple. And grain, when you have the mop. Este el trapeador, the mop. Or the, the, the clothes, sometimes the, yes, the, the towel, las toallas, the towel. Steer, steer es combatir, ok, right. Crush, it's similar to squeeze, ok, but crush is like dejar hasta la última gota. So that, that's the difference between squeeze, you, you, you even, you can squeeze people. A veces puedes puede como apretar fuerte a la gente, especially in the airports, when you, see, when you see a person after five years, after some time, you squeeze people. Ok, but crush it for some drops, para algunas gotas, right? Peel, es como pelar, right? So it, it, it is like kind of similar, peel, pelar. Great, es rayar. And snap is this sound, like Snapchat. ¿Se recuerdan de, de, de esa aplicación, verdad? Para chitar, so snap, porque era rápido, entonces. Yes, carito. Ese great is the same pronunciation, no, that's great. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, yeah, or it's like, there are some words that are homophones, homophones son que tienen el, el mismo sonido, ok? Pero no, los, los sinonyms son significado similar, pero homophones son los que se parecen. Por ejemplo, what is going on here? Ok. Look at these words. Ok. By and by. They, they are the, the, the same pronunciation, but uh, definitely the, the meaning is different. Ok. By, by. Ok. So it's like, like this. Ok. Great es como decir genial. Ok. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hi or hello if you listen to your name. Carlos, you, we start. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carito. Hello, teacher. Hello, Edwin. Present, teacher. Okay. And nice. And Steffi. Hello, teacher. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, teacher. Hi, Gabriel. Present, teacher. Good. Duran. Hello, teacher. Yvette. Present, teacher. Nice, te escucho lejos, Yvette. Es que voy manejando. Ok, ok, be careful, con cuidado, ok, no hay problema. Eh, Luis. Hello, teacher. Hi, Mardo. Hello, teacher. Right there. Okay. Oscar. Present, teacher. Good. Nina, sé que estás ahí, Nina, no es necesario, ¿verdad? Comenté, Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. Okay, good. We don't have Claudia or Wendy tonight, right? Well, not tonight. Well, uh, in this case, we start now with. See. Okay, we have this worship uh, similar we we started yesterday. Remember that we're going to do it fast. Lo vamos a hacer rápido. Cough, como coffee. Cough, cough, cough. Sneeze, sneeze, throw away, keep a distance, touch, touch, okay? Uh, talking about uh, flu, coronavirus, or if a person is ill, si una persona está enferma, okay? So um, you tell me should or shouldn't, okay? We're going to do it fast. We start with Luis and then we go with Mardo, okay? Tell me the number. Uh, number A, teacher. Hmm? You should hold your friend. Okay, deberías abrazar a tus amigos. Should or shouldn't? Should. Okay, pero si estás enfermo. Should. Shouldn't. Mm -hmm. okay. shouldn't. Ahorita estamos con el tema de que está un poquito enfermo, right? So that's it. Eh, Mardo en carito. Number five. Yep. You should frequently wash your hands. Yeah, good. Carito en Carlos. I'm sorry, teacher. This is a review. 
¿Por qué yeah. se lo hicimos allá? Yeah, yeah. okay. Ah, pues, uh, num number 10, you should have a bottle of water. Ah, bien, aplica para ti. Ok, good. Carlos, and then we go with Evelyn. Ok, teacher, number 9, you, you should, shouldn't play football and bike or basketball with your friends. Friends, thank you. Evelyn, and then we go with Gabriel. Uh, number three. Yep. You you should you should keep a distance distance with your class classmate and your teacher. Good, Gabriel and Oscar. Number one. Mm -hmm. You should go and se me olvidó eso. Miss. Miss. Your elbow. Elbow. Okay, good. Oscar and Wilfredo. Number six. Yeah. Uh, you should touch your plasma. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you shouldn't. Oh, Wilfredo, and then we go with Duran. Number four. Okay. Uh, you children should not sit next to a classmate. Excellent. We go with Duran and then we go with uh, Steffi. Oh, oh, number two. You should not go away. You show go away. Okay, you should. I hear you should. Okay. Yes, yes, you should. Thank you. And then we go with uh, Steffi and then Wendy. I ah, no, solo con Steffi. You should always sit at the same table. Yeah, thank you. Very nice. Uh, this is just a, a very short review. And I would like to now hear. Okay, mention two or three things you are bad at. Okay, for example, you can say, I am bad at singing. Necesitamos que la actividad sea en, con ING. Okay, for example, I am bad at singing. Okay, you can mention two. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that's the example. So, anybody ready? <clears throat> Carito. Okay, things I am bad. Um, I'm terrible at craft. I'm terrible at combining stylus and colors of clothes. I'm terrible at putting on makeup. I'm terrible at drying and I'm terrible at sports. Uh, so many, are you sure? What? Are you sure about that? Yeah, and I guess I don't have more time to keep in. <laughs> okay, no, no sports. I terrible in the sports. Okay, no handcraft is manualidades, right? It, it is something is, yeah. that in my case mm, I'm really bad at. Okay, well, Carito, maybe, but you can improve in some other things. Yeah, remember we can like learn. What? Give me examples. Okay, no, that's okay, Carito. Um, Nina says, I am bad when, uh, well, I'm bad at cooking. Dice Nina que es mala en la cocina. Well, uh, cooking is not for everybody, right? But maybe we can prepare basic things, right? Basic things, it's okay. But main dishes or special food is like mm, kind of complicated sometimes depends depends on the person okay good we go now with oscar right and then uh, with carlos okay one of the one of the things i am but 
is drawing okay. and using another thing of grammar, right and the uh, north phone, a uh, comma, uh, accent. Uh, I am but a uh, grammar, uh, I am also but another. Okay, thank you. Well, grammar is something that I guess everybody. Sometimes we have problems. Solo un detalle, Oscar, tal vez le pueden decir en tu casa que le bajen un poquito a, a, a la tele porque así se, se escucha bastante. Y a veces el problema es que interfiere con tu voz, ¿verdad? Entonces a veces escuchamos más la tele, ¿verdad? Que, que eso. But yes, grammar is something that affects us even in our work. And so that's why we have to read uh, at least the basic rules for grammar. Yeah, so important. And Carlos. Okay, teacher. I I am bad. I I'm getting up early. I am I am bad. I'm playing attention. I am bad making a donuts. Okay, making donuts. Yes. And getting getting up early. Believe it. That's a problem for almost everybody. Yeah. Thank you, Carlos. And we'll listen to Mardo. Okay, Mardo. Okay, teacher. I'm bad writing at the computer. Uh, I'm bad speaking at public. Okay. Yes, uh, that's typing. Typing. That's okay. typing, digital. Yes. Oh, speaking typing. in public. Well, I recommend a movie that its name the King's Speech, El Discurso del Rey. It's a British movie. Una película oh, okay. británica. Y okay. el, ese es, es, eh, I recommend you to watch it in English. Pero recomiendo que la vean en, en el inglés propio, que es británico. Bien interesante esa película. That's an interesting movie. It's about a person who has problems to, to speak. Because eh, he makes a lot of pauses. Hace muchas pausas al hablar. Él tiene ecolalia. O sea, estar tan mudo. Y él es como okay. el sucesor. Es como el sucesor y tiene que dar eh, discursos. So, I recommend you that movie. Yeah, a really good one. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mardo. Yes, I know. Speaking in public is not for everybody. Even uh, sometimes I, I have some problems. A veces yo tengo problemas para hablar en público. Yeah, it happens. Um, what about if we listen now to Evelyn and Gabriel? I'm bad at, at speaking in English. Well, yes, uh, we too. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, good, Evelyn. Uh, any other? Uh, I'm bad at uh, cocinar, como se dice? Cooking. I'm bad at, at okay. cooking. Okay, uh, I guess we can prepare some eggs. Okay, so some basic things, right? But special food, special dishes is like sopa de pata, for example. It's like, what? Okay, and, and there are some, some other dishes that I know that are difficult. They're really difficult, okay? So, well, uh, thank you. Uh, this activity is for us to know that we have good abilities, or I mean, we have skills but we also have uh, some difficulties or um, things that maybe we can improve. Cosas que podemos mejorar. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Here we have this activity. Um, this is kind of long, un poquito extenso. Okay, let me prepare it for you. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, good etiquette at your workplace. So for this, let me see. You're going to help me, me van a ayudar a leer, okay? So um, we're going to start with Carlos, remember, I'm going to be showing you uh, from what part to what to some other parts. Okay, go. 
And then we we'll go with okay. Gabriel. Okay. There are many workplace etiquette, etiquette, etiquette guidelines, guidelines, but, guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. Thank you. Okay, Gabriel, and then we we'll go with Carito. Is if you are late because uh, you are an emergency, that is okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Carito and then Wilfredo. However, habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. Yes, appreciated. Hmm? Appreciated. Thank you. Okay, well, let's go with Wilfredo. If if you just get to your office on time, you you show that you are responsible and you respect the organ the organization. Okay, good. The organization, huh? And you respect the organization. Nice. Okay, and in this case, we go with uh, Luis. Are you ready? And then after Luis, we go with Duran. If, if you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline Guide, will be, guideline. Mm -hmm. guideline will be to, to call the community authority and report the reason why you are late. Yes, thank you. Okay. And now we go with okay. Okay, Duran. Okay, Duran and then Wendy. Okay, Duran, you go from etiquette until countries okay oh, i'm sorry ethics ethic is also important we you have to communicate communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world thank you uh, we go with wendy in those cases in those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace, email etiquette of other countries. Yes, okay, good. Um, let's see. Yeah. Trist, okay, we go now with uh, Mardo. Uh, let's see, here we have in the until concise. The, um, you all you all need to include include all the import details. You should use formal and grammatical grammatically correct language for emails. Thank you. Creo que te faltó esta parte. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly to be concise, but okay. that's okay, it's okay. Okay, we go with Evelyn in addition until work. And then we go with um, Wilfredo. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Daily work, that's it, thank you. Wilfredo, and then after Wilfredo, we go with Edwin. Be polite. Be polite when you talk to your employers or your supervisor, listen to what they say, careful and don't not interrupt. Be, Be sure. sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretation. This is very important. Avoid, evitar wrong interpretations, mala interpretations. Okay, thank you. Um, we go now with, okay. Um, Edwin, are you there? And then Carito. Okay. Etiquette guidelines. Guidelines are important 
even when you are celebrating with your co-workers, hope you get a call when you are 18, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. The, the call, the call. Okay, uh, Carito, do not talk. Do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you chew. Thank you. Chew is masticar. masticar. You chew. You are, and that's really nasty. That's disgusting. Uh, when you are eating next to a person and that person makes noise, or especially when they are uh, taking soup, con, con, con sopa, and there are a lot of people that they make noise, or when they have uh, something that is crunchy, algo que es como tronadito, algo que está bien frito y todo eso. And that's worse when the person opens the mouth. Es peor cuando la gente abre la boca. So, but some adults do that. Algunos adultos lo hacen. I, we can understand some kids, right? Because kids are, are like that, right? They are learning. But adults, come on. Okay, Luis, you go. Um, you should. You should remember that you be behavior. Behavior. And beha behavior and manners. Are under observation and following an etiquette. Etiquette giddening can can play a very vital um, role role for future promotions. promotions. Okay, good. Thank you. And necesito que me anoten esta palabra. Sé que es nueva. Okay. Guidelines. Guide como guía. Guide y luego lines. Verdad. Porque cuando ustedes van a, for example, you go to the eh, Ilamatepec, no, Ilamatepec, I don't know what is the name. Okay, Boquerón, Boquerón Volcano, you have sometimes a tourist guide, okay? Or imagine you go to the Trifinio or El Imposible or Cerro Verde, we have tourist guide. Yeah, turístico. So in this case, guidelines son pautas o referencias. Okay, pautas o referencias. So we have some references about the things that we have to do. Okay, um, to show good manners. Manners significa modales. Esto es, no es maneras. Okay, manners significa modales. Y behavior comportamiento. Recomiendo que las anoten. Ok. Behavior. Behavior. Así se pronuncia. Obviamente no se escribe así. Manners, ¿verdad? No hay problema. And here we have this. Guidelines. 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 Ok. Behavior guidelines. Behavior guidelines. Okay. Um, okay, I guess you, you have written already this pronunciation. Recuerden que estas palabras lo, los van a los hacen notar que tienen un inglés básico, pero no básico, básico, sino ya nivel 3, nivel 4, así como estamos. Entonces, por eso es importante que me, me interesa mucho que su, la pronunciación vayamos la mejorando y adquiriendo más palabras. No nos quedemos, no se conformen con las palabras que saben. Saben muchas palabras, pero no se conformen. Hay que aprender más. Eh, y también tenemos esta, ¿verdad? Que aquí es eh, carefully. No es carefully. Care, carefully, carefully, cuidadosamente. Carefully. ¿Ok? Cuando le, le dicen a la gente, be, be careful, I'm sorry, be careful, ten cuidado, sé cuidadoso, be careful, okay? So carefully, careful, careful, it's, it's an adverb, okay? And tenemos otro acá, este es language, 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 <laughs> language, language, okay? Uh, so I recommend you to, to wrote these words so you can practice, practice them. 
algo que yo hacía um, antes, no lo hago con ustedes porque, bueno, creo que ustedes como, como ya son adultos, eh, ya la metodología con ustedes cambia un poco. Um, yo me rijo prácticamente parte eh, de su disciplina y la disciplina, my friends, discipline is not behaving good. No solo se trata de comportarse bien. La disciplina se trata de hacer ciertas cosas sin que alguien les esté recordando. A recommendation for you. En cada clase, yo sé que toman nota, and thank you for, for being responsible, pero recomiendo que, digamos, eh, tienen en la clase, ustedes hagan, por ejemplo, que hagan un, un cuadrito y pónganle qué, pónganle como un rojito o algo así, y allí, allí escriban las palabras que se, le, se les dificultan. Pueden escribir behavior, language. Entonces, no tiene que ser grande, tiene que ser pequeño, por lo menos de unas 10 líneas, 5 líneas, ¿ok? Entonces, ese cuadro les tiene que recordar que esas palabras son sus debilidades. Obviamente, you have uh, like, like positive things, eh, strong, eh, you have strength, tiene sus fortalezas, but you have your weaknesses, también tienen sus debilidades, y las debilidades son el vocabulario y la pronunciación de algunas palabras, ¿verdad? No es que yo les diga que ustedes están mal, no, sino que ustedes deben de ser conscientes de que las palabras no las van a recordar solo porque, ah, sí, dice, gracias por la pronunciación, gracias, salud, no. You have to take notes y tener un eh, recuento de palabras que se les hacen difíciles. ¿Para qué? Para mejorarlo. No se puede mejorar lo que no se mide, ¿verdad? Parte de mi filosofía, cuando la, lance el, el libro de superación, ahí, ahí les voy a avisar, ¿ok? No se puede mejorar lo que no se puede medir. Lo que no, si ya tenemos una medida aquí, ah, podemos mejorarlo. Pero si no, ¿cómo vamos a mejorar? No, o sea, nuestra memoria sé que es buena, pero no lo puede con todo. Necesitamos recordatorios, ¿ok? So, eh, cuando yo les corrija algo, anoten esa palabrita y enciérrenla en un círculo o como sea, o pónganle un highlighter, un marcador o algo, porque son palabras que ustedes deben de estar practicando. Right? Ok, my friends. Um, vamos a ver si es cierto. Let's see. Vamos a ver, nos vamos a divertir un poquito. Let's see. A ver si a mí me gusta cuando, cuando me mienten. Porque a veces me inventan pronunciaciones, pero está bien porque lo intentan. Me gusta que intenten. Okay. La única persona que, que ya falló es cuando la persona que no lo intenta, ¿ok? Así que todo es posible hasta recuperar el amor perdido. Ok. Eso está. Vamos. Ok. I'm going to select algunas valientes. For example, Mardo. And then Luis. Mardo, pick one of these. Selecciona uno. Again. Knowledge. Okay. Knowledge. 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 Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Knowledge. And we go. Vamos a poner acá. Luis Encarito. Uh, guidelines. Guidelines. Nice. Carito and Gabriel. Language. Language. Good. Uh, Gabriel and Evelyn. Carefully. Carefully. A la notaste. Buenale, buenale. Ok. Evelyn and Oscar. Estaba, estaba pensando que no me la quitaran a pobre. pobre. Ok. No. <risa> Evelyn and Oscar. Clearly. Clearly. También la notaste o te la memorizaste. Good. Oscar and we go with Wilfredo. Lovely. Loudly, good. Wilfredo en eh, ah, en Wendy. Essential. Essential, como essential. yo creo que essential, creo que es un champú, un champú, si no. Okay, and we go with Wendy and after go with Yvette. Sure. I'm sorry. Sure. Ah, should, should. Okay. Sure. Sin la L. 
Eh, Yvette en Carlos. Um, agua. Hour. 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 No, hour. Hour. Good. Thank you. And Carlos. Etiquetlet. Etiquetlet. Etiquet. Etiquet. Okay. Así. Etiquet. Y este okay. es concise. Concise. Okay. Concise. Yes. It is good. It is good to be like checking the vocabulary. So uh, it means that we are like improving. Estamos mejorando ciertas palabras. Right? So that's it. Good. So um, there is at the beginning. ¿Qué es lo más importante según este texto? Dijo algo al inicio. ¿Mm? Como la guía y la... Muy bien, las guías, la, 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 las eh, referencias, right? Yes. Pero ¿cuáles di dicen una... una regla de etiqueta, la más importante. To be punctual to yes. your office. Yes. Ok, punctual. Punch es un golpe, punch, punch, pero punctual es el puntual. And that's like the first etiquette. Es como la primera, la principal. And of course, there are some others, right? So that's it. Interesting. Thank you, Mardo. Now here we have this um, short activity. Okay, and here we have, let me see, two situations. Number one, I will need you to read, Wendy, can you help me reading? Number one. If you, if you, if you know you are later, you should mm -hmm. a com, compensate, compensate, compensate the time, the time. compensate the time, be Call the person you report to. See, not do anything about it. Okay, esto es lo que hacemos los salvadoreños, right? Not do anything about it, but definitely it is a bad idea. Okay, a veces los salvadoreños no los llevamos de vivos, right? But that's the reason why we are fired. Por no despiden. So, uh, what do you think, Wendy, a person who is uh, late should do? Uh, a Compensate, compensate the, the time. time. Well, you can do it, but based on the text. Basado en el texto. La opción es. Uh, call the person you report. Call the, person. Número de... call the person. Imagine you are in a traffic jam and you have to call to, to your, your superior, supervisor, coordinator, or whoever. Uh, is in church and say, I'm so sorry, I'm in a traffic jam or I'm having some uh, problems, but I I'm on my way. Cuando decimos, I'm on my way, voy en camino. I... Es por eso cuando Yvette or Steffi, yo le digo, ah, you are on your way. Vas, ya vas de camino. I am on my way. Ya voy como de camino. Good. Carito, number two. Can you help me reading? And then we're going to answer. What is a tip to apply in official emails? Okay, a tip uh, to apply mm -hmm. in official emails. Can you read the three options, please? Okay, send the email in English, use a long salutation, express the subject clearly. Subject. 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 Okay. The number, the C. Letter C. That's it. Express the subject clearly. Okay. No es un gossip que están dando, ¿verdad? Es algo formal, claro, del cual ustedes necesitan, pues, eh, una respuesta muy, muy clara. Okay. And so for this, we're going to the listening part. Vamos a la parte de listening, que es un poquito extenso. Es un poquito extenso este listening. So I recommend you to be ready. Just give me one second. I'm going to prepare, okay, the audio.
Okay, ready? You're going to listen to a sexy voice. So be careful because it is like one, two, three paragraphs. Son tres párrafos. So uh, try to write a, a important information, right? I want to explain a few things about your essay. First of all, the deadline. The deadline for this essay is October the 18th, not the 19th, not the 28th, not two days later because your dog was ill or your computer broke, the 18th. If it's late, I won't mark it. I won't even read it. You'll fail the assignment. So please hand it in on time. You can even hand it in early if you like. You can email me the essays at j.hardshorn at lmu.ac.uk. That's H-A-R-T-S-H-O-R-N. I reply to say I've got it. If I don't reply within a day, it might mean I didn't get it. So please email me again to make sure. You can also bring a paper copy of the essay to my office, but let's be kind to the trees, okay? Email is better for the trees and for me. And lastly, make it easy for me to read. That means use a clear font. Arial is best, but Times New Romance is fine too. Not coming sans, please. Size 12 font for the essay and size 14 for the titles and subheadings and use page numbers and equations. Okay, listen one more time. To explain a few things about your essay. I want to explain a few things about your essay. First of all, the deadline. The deadline for this essay is October the 18th, not the 19th, not the 28th, not two days later because your dog was ill or your computer broke, the 18th. If it's late, I won't mark it. I won't even read it. You'll fail the assignment. So please hand it in on time. You can even hand it in early if you like. You can email me the essays at j.hardshorn at lmu.ac.uk. That's H-A-R-T-S-H-O-R-N. I reply to say I've got it. If I don't reply within a day, it might mean I didn't get it. So please email me again to make sure. You can also bring a paper copy of the essay to my office, but let's be kind to the trees, okay? Email is better for the trees and for me. And lastly, make it easy for me to read. That means use a clear font. Arial is best, but Times New Romance is fine too. Not coming sans, please. Size 12 font for the essay and size 14 for the titles and subheadings and use page numbers and equations. Okay, um, I consider that it is it was a long audio, but you understood a couple of words, right? So volunteers for sharing the words or the information that you identified. Okay, Carito. Go. Eh, no hay más voluntarios y no me quedo de última. Ok, son otros voluntarios. Carito dice que puede ser la última semana voluntaria. Ok, por si le da penita, dice. Ok, eh, Oscar, en en Carito. Oh, en Carlos, ok. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Eh, line, eh, want to play... I line no 18 computers I been read on time early email at that replay name getting the phone Roman side title uh, 
Solamente. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, uh, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Please. For example, not my team, not today, today, a October marketing, early play, short for me, please, and size in question, e r t r n also the best number. Interesting. Good, Carlos. Carito. Okay. I want to explain a few things. First of all, the lines is October 29, no 20. Uh, the day later, later, computer broke. It is late. I want to mark her. You failed the assignment. If you like, at literally, I get it. Replay. Uh, to my office, email me. It's better for me. Inside titles, uh, page numbers, you can email me. I replay it if I get it. If I don't replay. It. And last, uh, make, make easy for me. Make easy for me. Good. Thank you, Carito. A lot of words and phrases. And as well, Oscar and Carlos, do we have some other participants who wants to share vocabulary and ideas? Okay. So, Evelyn, please. I want to explain a few, the deadline, not the, not the 28. I want, please, computer broken on time, I replay. I didn't get it. Copy my office email is very for me. Make easy time new Roman is fast too. And page number. Any question? Good, excellent, nice. So, um, thank you for 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 sharing what, what you got. Now tell me, you can say it in Spanish. Cuando decimos en español. ¿De qué creen que trata ese audio? ¿Qué fue lo, lo, lo que decía esta persona? Podía, se le viene a la mente una o dos cosas en específico, o sea, en resumen, ¿verdad? No la frase lo que decía, sino que en resumen, ¿de qué creen que trata esto? Maybe a uh, word presentation or a thesis, thesis, I don't know how to do it. Okay, thesis, okay. You, you can say it, presentation for a thesis. Mm -hmm. Good. And he was saying... Specifically, ¿qué es lo que estaba diciendo? Ok, it's what? Yep. I'm sorry, could you? He used the tiny Roma, uh, okay. the space, the bind, yes. the page number. Ok. How, how is it called? ¿Cómo se le llama eso? Cuando se está dando esos detalles. Uh, instruction? Yes, instructions. And specifically, Times New Roma uh, or Arial, but not coming sans. So for those details, the, the specific information is instructions. Okay, follow them. See esas instructions, okay? So um, here we have, let me show you. Okay. Okay. Here we have it. I need to listen again. Explain a few things about your essay. First of all, the I want to explain a few things about your essay. First of all, the deadline. The deadline for this essay is October the 18th, not the 19th, not the 28th, not two days later because your dog was ill or your computer broke, the 18th. If it's late, I won't mark it. I won't even read it. You'll fail the assignment. So please hand it in on time. You can even hand it in early if you like. You can email me the essays at 
j.hartshorn at lmu.ac.uk. That's h-a-r-t-s-h-o-r-n. I reply to say I've got it. If I don't reply within a day, it might mean I didn't get it. So please email me again to make sure. You can also bring a paper copy of the essay to my office, but let's be kind to the trees, okay? Email is better for the trees and for me. And lastly, make it easy for me to read. That means use a clear font. Arial is best, but Times New Romance is fine too. Not coming sans, please. Size 12 font for the essay and size 14 for the titles and subheadings. And use page numbers. Any questions? So we can, um, in this case, um, outline Eh, podemos sobresaltar ciertas cosas, right? And in this case, deadline is fecha límite. Anoten eso, please take notes. It can be applied for reports. It can be applied for visitors or, or visits para visitas, para reportes, for emails, for uh, statistics, for budget, para presupuesto, for whatever you want to present. That's a deadline. De no es línea muerta. Es simplemente la fecha límite. Okay. And the other is hand it in. Hand in es entregar. Este. Hand in. Hand in es entregar. Okay. It's similar to present. Okay. Es como que digamos presentar o entregar. Esto es hand in. Okay, this hand it in. This puedes eh, presentarlo. Okay. Um, and some other. Yeah, I guess you understand the, the. Okay, the other is this. Titles and subheadings. Okay, los títulos y los otros son, son como subtemas, subheadings. Okay. Good, then I guess you don't have any problems. You don't have any problems with this vocabulary, right? Good. Okay, my friends, we continue with this and to change this. Para cambiar un poquito el formato, ya que había un bastante texto. Let's go with this. What's the name of this song? A quien le corresponde la canción? I guess it's Oscar. Is it your turn? Ayer me tocaba, pero no sé si, si hoy. Ayer. Sí, ayer es que ayer me conecté porque me sacó el Zoom y ya no pude conectarme por el internet. ¿Y quién pasó ayer? Eh, Yo, Marto. Marto. Marto, en tercera persona, dice. Ok. Um, Okay, but are you ready? Oscar? Okay, I'm going to give you time. Okay, no problem. Oscar Romero. Nice. Okay, let's continue with this. Mention two or three things you are bad at. And in this case, uh, I would like to hear Duran. And Yvette. Okay, Duran, what about you? Two or three things you are bad at. I am bad at. Okay, teacher. Uh, <clears throat> I am bad at uh, running long distance. I need to get in check. Okay. That's one. Only one? I, or two? Uh -huh. Yeah. I bad at I wait, I waiting. I like wait. to stay active. Wait. Okay, you don't like to wait. No, I'm bad. Okay, that's it. Yes, it is really bad to, 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 to wait for, for a person, right? Okay, good. Thank you, uh, Gabriel Yvette. Okay, I am bad speaking English. Okay. Yeah. I am bad, number two, I am bad exposing in public. Okay, Gabriel, good. You are number three. Yep. I am 
I am bad at playing Mortal Kombat. Oh, come on, Mortal Kombat is a really good game, but it is it is difficult for the fatalities and some other combos, as we say, con decimos los combos, right? Yes. No, Caprendi. Okay, it is not that easy. Okay, good, Gabriel. I liked Mortal Kombat. Uh, good, Gabriel, and Yvette. Sería meting two rules of etiquette o oh, I no. bad at Estoy presentando la pregunta aquí. Mira, mention two oh. or three things you are bad at. Ok. Ok, ok. Um, I'm bad at dieting. 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 Ok. Ok. Ok, okay dieting. Please. Dieting. Um, I think it hard to go to go to the doctor. Yes. Mm -hmm. I understand that uh, there are people uh, who don't like to go to the doctor. They say, I'm okay, no problem. I'm going to be better tomorrow. So forget about it. But no, we have to go to the doctor or the, to the dentist. We always say, ah, next month, next, next what? Uh, ne next uh -huh. holidays, next vacations, next year, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yes. yes, so we are living, dejamos, we are living everything for 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 later. So that's it. Okay. Uh, thank you, Yvette. Mm. Okay. Uh, what about Luis? No has pasado, ¿verdad, Luis? Oh, sí. Creo que no, sí, ¿verdad? No, 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 no. Okay, no Luis, and then we go with, no sé, Wilfredo, sí ha pasado. Okay, Luis. Um, I am bar writing letter, letters. Ah, writing yes. letters. Okay. Yes. And playing basketball. Okay. Basketball is not your sport. Maybe football right. or, or soccer or some other sports, right? But not basketball. So, soccer. Okay. Soccer. Nice. I remember wh when you mentioned writing letters, I guess most of you were in the period of time in which when you wanted to express romantic wishes at school, you used to write letters. Cuando éramos todos jóvenes, escribíamos o recibíamos cartas románticas, right? And that, that was like the main mean, el medio principal, because now uh, the kids have cell phone, WhatsApp, Facebook, and so on. But in the past, pero en el pasado, creo que todos al menos hicieron una carta, al menos una, right? Mm -hmm. Y yes, sería bueno leerlas nuevamente para ver todas las mentiras que decía. Right? Thank you. Okay, yes. uh, hello. Ready. Ready to go. Okay, Oscar. I'm sorry. Déjame, solo te, 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 te doy la te doy el acceso. Okay, now you can. Try to share, intenta compartir. Okay. Uh, okay, can you read it, please, Oscar? Oscar. Tienes apagado el micrófono. Okay, maybe you have problems, Oscar. Vamos a leerla acá. Who knows what tomorrow? Ahorita. Okay. Yeah, Seis, 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 siete, ahorita, ahorita. Okay. Who knows what yeah. uh, tomorrow brings yeah. um, a world face here to survive? All or no, if the white feels when it's real, I keep it the a little. The road is long. There are mountains in our way, but the clown, I said every day, love lives with you, uh, where the valley, where the angle right on mountain high, 
lovely old school where we belong far from the world below schools where the clear will bloom. Okay, thank you. Mm, any ideas, people? Because I don't have any idea about the song. No ideas? Okay. Uh, what is, is, is it a band or a singer? Oscar? Uh, two. Both. Okay, band and a singer. Actually, we don't have any idea. Puedes decir el nombre? Maybe. Lo cante. <laughs> yes, you were uh, Willow, the John Cocker and Jennifer Warner. Joe Cocker, okay. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Vamos, vamos yeah. a buscar música, música, música de los 80, no creo que no, papá. Vaya, pues, no creo, dice. No bueno, está retando, Oscar. Ok. Thank you, Oscar. Well, I guess I know some songs from Joe Cocker, but I don't know this song. Maybe we have to look for them. Vamos a buscarlo. Bien, uh, for tomorrow's song, we have Wilfredo. ¿Qué te hiciste, Wilfredo? Sí, sí, sí. Mañana te toca, okay? Your song. Books away. Okay, perfect. Uh, we continue this. Thank you, Oscar, for that song. That was new for me. And let's, here we have this. Okay. Um, this is like an, uh, an activity. I will need, Luis, help me. Three, which is not. Okay, teacher. Which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone? Okay, read it. Mm -hmm. I speak using clear voice. B, interrupt the other speak. C, use polite language. What do you um, think is it? Um, 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 B? Yes, interrupt to other speakers. That's not a good etiquette. Okay. Thank you. And here we have um please help me, Evelyn, for if we if you receive if you re if you receive a call while you're eating with co-workers, you should. Mm -hmm. um, answer the call at the table answer the call at the table leave the table and answer the call ignore the call and continue eating maybe maybe you can leave the table and answer the call okay también puedes hacer eso right eh, puedes abandonar la mesa y seguir pues platicando thank you and here we have this okay um Let's write a manual. Vamos a escribir por lo menos. Aquí tenemos this one. Greet everyone in the facilities. Can you mention one or two? Etiquette manual. Okay. I need, we're going to do something. Necesito que um, escriban en el chat de Zoom. Okay. Escriban en el chat de Zoom que um, una, una, ¿qué? Una regla, una... Sí, digamos de etiqueta, de, de buena conducta, que podría aplicársele en su trabajo que normalmente no se aplica o no se respeta. O you can invent a new one, o pueden inventar una nueva, ¿ok? We're going to read it. Vamos a estarlas leyendo, right? Pueden escribirla en el chat de Zoom, no en el de WhatsApp, en el de Zoom. Ok, I'm going to give you like one minute.
Luis, can you read your your um, rule, your etiquette, please? And then Gabriel. Uh, respect the word schedule. Yes, schedule, schedule, mm -hmm. schedule. Yes, schedule. sometimes uh, the bosses they ask for more time, but that's not ex that's not extra hours. So that's the problem, right? Because when we have extra hours, that's okay. Because we have like uh, more money, but uh, it is good to respect the the working hours, the the, the work schedule. Gabriel Beltran, mention to yours. Okay, respect lunch time. Okay, respect lunch time. Okay, and that's good because imagine. It is supposed that we have from one hour to it, from 12 to one. But sometimes we are finishing things and we have we don't have one hour to it and mainly when we have to move. So it is like we have to eat like in 10, 12 minutes. And then for the di digestion, we don't have enough time, right? Okay, uh, we go, Wendy. Okay, is for the the lunch time and I leave the kitchen area area clean. Okay, so look, leave single in. Okay, leave leave. Yes, leave. that's really important, especially when you have microwave el, el microondas. Okay, you can use microwave yes. and there are some sauce. I como una salsa. Yes, I have seen that they have chicken in in sauce, but they give more time more time to, for, for the microwave. So what happens is that there are some sparks, I como chispas in the microwave. That's one example. That's one example, but there are some other things that people should clean, debería de, 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 de limpiar, right? A good one, good one. Y eso es algo que a veces no, no se habla, esos detalles, and really important. A veces hasta, hay gente que se le quita el hambre al ver eso, al ver ciertas cosas, right? Good. Um, Edwin. Okay. Respect the recess schedule. The recess, the break, uh, break time. Yes. In in Europe, in, in some other countries, they have even sleeping time. Hasta le dan como 10 minutos para dormir. Imagine that, that, well, there are different reasons. And one is that when you feel like better and rested, you can produce more. Tú produces más cuando tu cuerpo está un poquito más descansado. Tú produces más, and that's more money for the company. But here in El Salvador, we are like slaves. Somos como esclavos, verdad? Aquí somos sí, como squeeze. Labor, sí, sí. Aquí es como Pero squeeze. Ya. Lo que estábamos <laughs> hablando. Squeeze, right? Exprimiendo, yeah. And even if our body uh, feels better, si nuestro cuerpo se siente bien and even our health and mental health, we produce more, producimos más, we are more creative, somos más creativos, right? Sí. Solucionamos problemas. That's human being, es el ser humano, right? But, well, uh, thank you, uh, Edwin. Nina says, be punctual at the meeting. Wow. Sometimes, and that's really disgusting. Y esta palabra, a mí me gusta decirla, esto es desagradable. Y me gusta esta palabra porque es fácil pronunciarla. Disgusting. Solo que en lugar de la U es O. Oh, disgusting. And when you are waiting for the meeting, and some late comers, hay gente tardista, it's okay, two, three minutes, five minutes, okay. You can understand, but 15 minutes, 25 minutes late, come on. Okay, you have a lot of things to do. Todos tenemos cosas que hacer, right? Uh, Kenya, hello Kenya. ¿Dónde estás, Kenya? Yes. Hello, teacher. How are you feeling? Are you okay, Kenya? You're like. Ay, you look teacher. Shy. No, es que los martes mayormente tengo reunión en la iglesia, por eso es que este me conecto ya tarde. Okay, okay, Kenya. Yes, mm -hmm. sí. Good. Okay. But uh, let's see, place. Uh, could you read it, please, Kenya? Yes. Ah, ok. Pues no sé si le entendí bien, pero yo esto coloqué Place Nutritional Table 
on all labels. Nutritional table and all labels, ok, labels. como ubicar una, una tabla nutricional con sus mm -hmm. etiquetas, ok, and that's good because that's information and if you notice, it is common that sometimes we have some junky food for lunch, a veces solo comemos la chatarra, mm -hmm. so junky food, it's fried, it's pizza, chicken fried, hamburgers, and some old, old things. But if we have like that information to, to remind us, maybe we can have different habits. Podemos tener un par de hábitos diferentes. Okay. Nice, nice, Kenya. Mardo. Not use nasty vocabulary. Yes, nasty vocabulary. Good, Mardo. Um, I have uh, seen cases in which the employees are educated, they are polite, but the bosses or the supervisor, they, they use nasty vocabulary, imagine. Come on. And let's see. Carito. Yes, teacher. I have to read. Definitely, yes. Absolutely, como esta palabra. Absolutely. Speak loudly or put yourself on a speakerphone while you are in a Zoom meeting or a training. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you are in a training. So speak loudly. ¿Verdad? Hablar fuerte. So that, that, that's uh, important. Mm -hmm. When I mean when you are the coach or when you are in charge of the meeting. That's why that, that's the reason, right? Cuando For example, I am receiving a training or I am in the meeting and the person who is next to me uh, start to speak very loudly or uh, put the cell phone in speakerphone. Um, okay, yes, yes, Me yes. Okay, so that's something that it is not appropriate. So don't not appropriate. Yes. Okay, so the so, so the, the rule should be don't speak loudly. Uh, yeah, that pero me di cuenta cuando ya lo había mandado, so sorry. Así es la vida. Así es la vida. So thank you, Carito. Okay, and that's okay. it. I don't know that happens, or even when you are in a meeting, you are in, in, in like paying attention. And your neighbors, to vecinos, start whispering, start talking about gossip or whatever, and you want to pay attention, or maybe uh, the person in church called their attention. A veces le llama la atención. Y qué pena, qué pena, because we are adults, right? We should act professionally, okay? In those cases. To, to uh, take advantage, take advantage significa aprovechar. Take advantage, advantage, es aprovechar, ¿verdad? No solamente tomar ventaja, sino que es take advantage of the time. Eh, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Not, not having to pay, to pay for the AFP. Not having to play for the AFP. FP, ok, eh, good, digamos, bueno, entonces sería aquí en la última, parece que porque te pusiste dos, pero bueno, entonces la última sería having correct, having the payments of the AFP correctly, ¿verdad? Que te paguen la AFP, but that's a part, that, that's like a matter of finance, but uh, it happened to me in a, in a, private school, estaba trabajando en una escuela privada, and I, I had discount on my salary of the Seguro Social, but when I realized, when I went to the Seguro Social, I noticed that uh, my, my name was not in their, in their uh, database, no estaba en su base de datos, so uh, my It is supposed that my superior used to steal that money. Como que se robaron ese dinero. That's common a lot. Okay. Uh, Yvette. Uh, sería... Do not use the cell phone in meetings. Meetings, meetings. Yeah, don't use your cell phone in meetings. 
Okay. Meetings. Okay, Evelyn. Respect lunch hours. Yes, respect. Or, or respect the opinion of co-workers. Yes, that's so important, okay? Respect lunch hours and respect others' opinion. Thank you. Uh, Duran? Oh, re respect all uh, employees. Mm -hmm. That's it. And even is the janitor, el conserje, it is the security personnel, it is uh, wh whoever, you have to respect, okay? Maybe if you have a specific charge, it doesn't mean that you are, uh, if you have a higher position, it, it doesn't mean that you are a better person for, for that, right? And Wilfredo, you go. Wilfredo. Sure. Uh -huh. Don't listen, right? Don't listen to loud music. And something that I have experienced is that some colleagues listen music with their cell phone. Hay gente que escucha música con su celular. But the speaker, the cell phone speaker is like noise, es como ruidosita el, 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 la bocinita de, de, del, del, del celular. La bocina del celular no, es, eh, no está destinada para escuchar música en sí, es solo para llamadas en altavoz. Pero esa música, no sé si han notado, pero es un poquito molesta, aunque la canción sea agradable. Pasa, pasa. No es como una bocinita, ¿verdad? O algo así. But uh, the recommendation is better to use uh, headphones or headsets, right? Better. So no problem. No problems and everybody is happy. Oh, hay gente que está canta en el trabajo. Come on. Well, um, we have 24 minutes, 24 minutes. Sí, canta la gente. Well, um, Wilfredo, canta, teacher. Ah, ok. <laughs> Hablando. Sí. Hey, Wilfredo, ¿qué te pasa? ¿Estás enamorado? ¿Estás en love, man? Open. O sea, oh, ¿quieres conquistar a alguien ahí del trabajo? O sea, es ah. desestresante cantar. It's good to sing, but sometimes you are you are preparing your report. A veces estás preparando tu reporte. You are stressed. Y Wilfredo con una de los temerarios. Says, what, Wilfredo? What's going on with you? Come on. De so, okay. <laughs> Eso está bien los jueves y los viernes, okay? Because it is close to the weekend, right? But Monday, come on, relax. Ahí se lo pone a reggae que le gusta a Kenny, okay? So, sí, Kenny, sé que te gusta. I know you like it. Well, let's go to the reading part. We have 23 minutes, 23 minutes, y casi terminamos, okay? Casi, casi terminamos, my friends. So, we, let's go to the reading part, and in this case, let's see. Yeah. Uh, I will ask you to read, okay? And in this case, we start with Kenya. My name is Ben, Ben Kenobi. Tío Ben. Read it, please, Kenya. Okay, teacher. Carita. My name is Ben and I come from Australia. I am 24 years old and I live in a small town. Near Sydney, calling Br Branton. Okay, town, town. Ah, town. Yes, hay town. una canción que se llama Siva. It's a ghost town. Entonces, town, town, town. significa. That's it. Good, thank you. Uh, and okay. Sydney, Sydney. Mm -hmm. Sydney. Sydney. Sydney, ah, sin la E, ah, it's silent. Okay, thank okay. you. Uh, let's go with Evelyn from here to here. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Gus, Gus, Gus Town is Pueblo Fantasma. Yes, Gus Town. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, dice la canción, it's a Gus Town without your love. Es un Pueblo Fantasma sin tu amor. Es de la que canta Wilfredo, yes, that's it. So, okay. Well, okay, okay. Really good sound. Recommended the low chantas. Nice sound. 
Okay, um, let's go with who? ¿A quién le dije? Evelyn. Evelyn, and, and then we go, y después vamos con el cantante. Ya saben quién es. Vamos, Evelyn. I don't have a job, a job now, but normally I clean shop windows. I am not married, but I live with my very beautiful girl, girlfriend. Maria in a nice house in Branton. Okay, that's it. Ajá, singer, cantante de bodas, vamos Wilfredo, we. We don't have any children, might be next year. Maybe next year, so by now, mm -hmm. this person uh, doesn't have any kid, right. And we go with Luis. Okay. My, my girlfriend is an actress, but is it very famous. She acts in a small teacher in our town. And okay. at the weekend, we like to go swimming in a big lake near our house. Okay. Theater. 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 Mm -hmm. El teatro. Theater. Mm -hmm. Swimming. Swimming. Swim. Theater. Swimming. Okay. And let's go with Carito. Okay. I normally get up at eight o'clock, but on Thursday I get up at six o'clock because that is the day when I go running in the park. In the park, good. Okay, now let's go with um, Wendy and Carlos. Okay, Wendy, from here to, to here. Okay, I like, I like Lee. I like living in Brampton because it's not too big. There are some historical buildings in the center of the town and near Brampton. Good, Carlos. There is. There is raving where in gold fishing fish fishing something when it what to relax. When I want, anota esta palabra, por favor, Carlos, I, la palabra, I, I. Digo que es una palabra porque la, cuando es así gramaticalmente no son letras, sino que son palabras, porque significan algo, yo, ¿verdad? I. Ok, thank you, my friends. Remember, um, recuerden los puntos, las comas. For example, here, my name is Ben, and I come from Australia. I am 24 years old. And I live, no es necesario que haya comas a cada, a cada momento, ¿verdad? Recuerden que lo importante es que suene como natural. Sé que cuesta. I know it is kind of difficult. Por ejemplo, I don't have a job now, but normally I clean shop windows. I am not married. Ya, yeah. entonces se escucha fluido, ¿verdad? Sin necesidad que diga, I don't have a job now, but I normally clean shop windows. I am not married. No me refiero a que lean así sino que con esas pausas que los hacen normalizar un poquito el inglés. Ok, let's go to the questions. And here we have, no sé si pueden verlo. Ok. Oops. From one to six. Ok, does anybody want to participate? We have from one to six. Okay, read the questions and you tell me if it is true or false. So that's the sentence. If you want to compare to the text, we can do it, okay? Yes, Mardo, one number and then Carlos. Number one. What's ben number come, one? Number one. Ben comes from Australia, but lives in America. Lives in America. What do you think? Is it true or false? False. Yes, false. Do you remember where does he live? And Sydney. Sydney. Yeah, Sydney. That's it. Down okay. Sydney. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Carlos, you go. Okay, teacher. Number three. Mm -hmm. Ben is not married. Mary. What do you think? Uh, false. Ok, Ben no está casado, es falso, o sea que sí está casado. Voy a poner la, la, la conversación. Ok, 
de la imagen. Ojo con esas, con esas oraciones porque las confunden. Sí, I, I am not Mary. Uh -huh. Mary, but it's like I, I live. Recuerda, I, I live. live. Eso dije que no esa live. palabra. Ok, so Ben is not married. So the answer is. Trinta. Yes, it's true. Ben no está casado. Es correcto. No está casado. Wendy. Um, four. Ben and Maria are having a baby next year. Yeah. Uh, is true. Okay. Maybe next year. Yes. La palabra clave es maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe Ben and Maria are having a baby next year. Yeah, could it be maybe? Sí, quizás. Maybe. No es seguro, right? But they are thinking of, están pensando en tener un bebé. Okay, good. And some others, my friend, we have two, five, six, seven, and eight. Oscar. Yes. Uh, seven, number seven. Yes, Ben thinks. Ben thinks that Brandon to T is small. It's too small. Uh -huh. Too small. It's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Aquí dice, I like living in Brampton because it's not too big. So, it's small. Thank you. Okay. Some others. Okay. Let's go with Carito. Number five. Ben's girlfriend's work in a local theater. This is true. This is true because she is an... Actress. Good. Evelyn, two, six, or eight? Six. Okay, let's go in six. Ben gets get, get up early, early, once a week to do some sport. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yes, I can see because it's uh, when you go running in the park. Yes, definitely true. That's good because he maybe he's in shape. True. Okay, Kenya, two or eight? Two. Uh -huh. Ben has a hoe as in window cleaner. Mm. I'm True. Sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. I normally, I don't have a job now, but normally I clean shop windows. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? True. Okay. Uh, now, ahorita no tiene trabajo. I don't have job now. Uh, But now. normally, okay. mm -hmm. yes. False. False. Ya, ya ven que están bien tricky. Estas bien tricky. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Could it be now, verdad? Ahorita no tiene. But normally, no. he cleans well. Thank you. And number eight, who goes for number eight? Anybody else? Okay, I'm going to give this to. Se lo voy a dar a Gabriel que está riendo. Vaya, Gabriel. Bingo swing in a river near Brabson. What do you think? Swim on a river. False. False, ok. False. Porque va a un lago, lake, no sí. to a false. river. Ok. So that's false. Definitely. Ok. Thank you very much. And we are about to finish. Ya estamos por terminar. There are some. Tenemos algunos que me hacen falta con pregunta. Mention two things. Verbarat. Nos quedan 12 minutos. 12 minutos. So, um, what if we listen to Wendy and then Kenya? Okay, and I bought a listening to WhatsApp audio. 
Why? Come. Okay, come on. Don't like. Ah, you don't, don't like, like it. Like. You don't, don't like. like. Yeah. Ponerlos así por dos, porque son en compartillas, right? Yes. <laughs> um, I bad uh, get it up early. Okay, I am bad. Yes, or I'm bad. Yes, at I'm getting bad. up early, definitely I'm bad too. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, let's see, Kenya. Okay, teacher. I am bad at math and physics. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I am very forgetful. Forgetful. So you forget uh, things, really? You, Kenya. Well, see this, Carito. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Va. <laughs> okay, nice. Ya me conoce ella muy bien. Okay. A ver, ¿qué cosas se le han olvidado? Well, um, here we have Edwin. What about you? And Steffi. Creo que no ha pasado. Eh, sorry, teacher. No. No, already. No, okay. Eh, Steffi, what about you? I pass at learning English. Mm, come on, come on. Uh -huh. What's the other? Only one, solo una cosa, lo demás son buenas para todo. Sí. Wow, uh -huh. Steffi, qué bárbara. Uh -huh. Qué bárbara. Not good at. No, nunca he sentido que es tan difícil como aprender inglés. Oh, okay, like learning English. It's like I'm. It's muy difícil. But you are speaking English. You say some sentences, you give your opinion, so you're not a bad student. No eres una mala estudiante, sino que cada quien tiene su proceso, su tiempo y su ritmo, ¿verdad? No podemos comparar, todos deben de estar así como tal persona o que les pasa, ¿no? Cada quien tiene su ritmo, pero es cuestión de tiempo y disciplina, esfuerzo, ¿ok? So that's it. And uh, Wilfredo, no me has dicho tú, lo estoy, ¿verdad, Wilfredo? No. Ok. Amba a Sport. Sports, I'm bad at sports. Ninguno. Ok, no, not sports. Soy malo para todo. Ah, para, para todo eso. Ah. Para los, todos los deportes. Menos para cantar, para cantar es sports. <ríe> eh, yeah. I'm bad at punctuality. Ah, so you're late comer. So tardista. Ok, yes, but imagine, sometimes we are bad at some things, but we can improve, pero podemos mejorar. Yes, but depends, depends on your desire or if you want to do it. Okay, Edwin, hello. Hello, uh, I am I'm bad at dancing. Ah, oh, really? No dancing? Okay. Yeah. Well, I am bad at swimming. Swimming, yeah. But swimming can save your life. Eso te puede salvar la vida, Edwin, yes. So it is not a bad, a, a bad idea to learn. Okay. Um, but, uh, basketball. You're bad at basketball. Okay. Okay, good. I understand that. Okay, thank you. And uh, eight minutes, ocho minutos y terminamos. And we're going to do the last activity. Lo último que tenemos acá. Okay. Okay, here we have this. It says, uh, a dog, what should we do? Digamos que um, si vamos a, a pasar consulta, if we go to the doctor, if we have some good suggestions, here we have, what should we do? ¿Qué deberíamos hacer? Make correct sentences with should or shouldn't. And word related to health, okay? Entonces vamos a agregar should or shouldn't based on the picture and based on the words, right? And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see. Okay. Eleven, twelve. 
13, 14, 15. Tenemos 15 imágenes, ¿ok? 7 minutes, 8 minutos y terminamos. Opinions about this. Me dicen si eligen uno. Carito, which one? What number? Number one. Number one. ¿Qué pasa con el gordito? ¿Qué tenés con los gorditos? Ah. Bob should lose some weight to fight. He's overweight. Uh -huh. Overweight es sobrepeso. Okay. Entonces podemos ver aquí la pancita, pero es que esta pancita siento que es de otra cosa. But okay. Yes, he should lose some weight. Aunque dicen que, que los gorditos son, digamos, tienen sus ventajas. Ok. So, thank you, carito. Some other, any other. Seis minutos y terminamos la clase. Almost. Evelyn, mm -hmm. what number? And then Oscar. Number four. Number four. Kate should take some aspirin to, yeah. to cure, cure. Her, cure her headache. Mm -hmm. Headache, yes. Um, aquí, vamos, aquí voy a ir escribiendo la del... Eh, la del la, el gordito de, car, de, 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 de carito es esta. Over. Over. Way. Over. Overweight es sobrepeso. De lo de que dijo Evelyn es. Headache, el dolor de cabeza. Ok, eh, Oscar. Number 12. Number 12. Me, no, no, no. I think they the, the teacher. Okay. The teacher. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. The teacher shouldn't speak uh, with. Uh -huh. With her. Mm -hmm. So. Throat. Sore throat es, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Dolor de garganta. Yes. The teacher shouldn't speak with the uh, sore throat. Good. Uh, we go with Kenya. Okay, teacher. 15. Okay. If you don't fear better better you better better you shouldn't should should not go to the no sé cómo se dice okay you shouldn't go to the what to the sports yeah. or shouldn't go to 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 the, yeah to sports maybe aprovechando bitter mm -hmm. significa amargo Ah, ok. Sweet eh, es dulce. Uh, quiero ver. Hay una canción que se llama Bitter Sweet Symphony. Uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. Creo que ya la han escuchado. Entonces, eh, recuerden ese Bitter Sweet. Bitter Sweet, que, que es lo opuesto, ¿verdad? Bitter, amargo, sweet. So, ok, and we go with Gabriel para ir terminando. De, mañana seguimos con esa actividad. Yes, Gabriel. You should take some. Cero, cero, for you, ¿cómo dice tos? No sé en qué número estás, dígame siempre el número. Eh, eight. Eight. Wow, sí. ok, yes. Ah. Cough. Cough. Ok, okay. thank okay. you. Ok, we're going to continue uh, tomorrow. I'm going to check the attendance list, ok. Please say hi or hello if you listen to your name. Um, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Good. Carito. Hello, teacher. Nice. Edwin. Okay. Steffi. Okay, good. Steffi. Hello. Hello there. Evelyn. Here, teacher. Good. Gabriel. Present teacher. Turan. Present teacher. Nice. Yvette. Present teacher. Good. Kenya. 
Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis. Hello, teacher. Hello, Mardo. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Good night. Oscar. Hello, teacher. Okay, Hi, good. Charlie, the song. Good night. Yeah. Ok, ahí la mandas a WhatsApp, porque aquí no podemos poner música. WhatsApp lo mandas. Wilfredo. Ya la mandé a WhatsApp. Good, ya vamos a ver si es cierto. Creo que la, seguramente la conocemos. Wilfredo. Present teacher. Good night. And Wendy. Ok. Present nice, teacher. Wendy. Ok, my friends, solo decirles que para mañana debe estar terminada la unidad 3. Please finish it tonight if possible. Si la pueden finalizar ahora, terminenla, ¿verdad? Para que mañana no tengan más trabajo. Right, mañana es miércoles, ombligo de semana. So, see you tomorrow. Okay, my friends. Have a good night. Descanse. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Okay, unfortunately, the person who was going to be here um, is not available tonight. So we're going to have a short review of the topic studied tonight. The main content is good etiquette at the workplace. So we start with this. It is a reading. So um, this reading, well, this article 
and workplace etiquette guidelines. The main objective is to identify the key details to answer the comprehension questions. Basically, here we have some specific guidelines of etiquette to improve or to have a good behavior in the workplace. 